everyone, my name is Vanessa and I want to welcome you to VBS 101. Over the next several weeks as we head into summer, I'm going to be sharing 101 tips and ideas to help you plan for VBS, Vacation Bible School. Whether you're a first-time director or already a VBS pro, whether you serve in a smaller church or a large ministry, whatever denomination you're from and whatever curriculum or theme you're using, I hope that you'll discover something helpful that you can put to use in your VBS. We're going to talk about planning, advertising, budgets, registration, decorating, volunteers, safety, station activities, teaching tips, meeting kids' needs, keeping yourself healthy, and of course, keeping God first and center. We'll discuss a different topic in each episode, and the goal is for you to start thinking about these ideas that I'll be sharing over the next several episodes, discuss them with your team as you plan and prepare, and then decide how to apply them in your unique ministry setting, so you can make this your best VBS ever. So feel free to take notes, share these videos with your team, and you'll want to be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can catch each video's content. If you want all 101 tips right away, I've collected them all in this book that's available to purchase. It has a journal type format with all 101 tips that we'll be discussing so you can make notes and highlight things you want to remember. I'll put the link down below if you're interested. I think my love for VBS started when I was just three years old at my first VBS. I did not grow up in the church, but I did attend VBS for several summers as a child when I was invited by my friends or neighbors or my parents' acquaintances. One of my first memories of VBS is carrying pennies to VBS to put in the offering so that we could throw a pie in the pastor's face at the end of the week. I still remember some of the songs that we learned at VBS, and I still have a folder covered in stickers that hold some of the projects that I made as a child. My favorite Bible verse is still John 14, 6, which I memorized after a week at VBS when I was in elementary school. I started volunteering at VBS when I was in junior high school, and after that I decided that I wanted to be a VBS director when I grew up. I always said that VBS is my favorite week of the year. I was a junior director during my senior year in high school, and then I went on to major in children's ministry and biblical literature in college. I started writing my own VBS curriculum, and I've served as a VBS director for more than 10 years now. So my hope is to help equip other ministries by sharing what I've learned along the way, and I can't wait to start on this VBS 101 journey with you. Feel free to share your comments in the comment section to share your VBS ideas and tips with others as we support each other in this work of helping kids to know their Creator and Savior. I'll go ahead and give you tip number one. Pray for your VBS. The best piece of advice I think I ever received for children's ministry was the reminder that this is God's ministry, not yours. Being a VBS director is a big job, and sometimes it feels like everything is on your shoulders and the failures or successes are all up to you. But you are not alone. This is God's ministry, not yours. You are the instrument through which He's working, and He set you apart for this work. But He's not going to leave you to figure it all out by yourself, and you shouldn't try to. It's okay to have questions and to not have everything figured out. 2 Corinthians 4, 7 says that we're just the jar of clay that shows that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. God wants to guide you and walk with you through this. He wants to give you His Spirit's power to live for Him and do His work. So talk with God about VBS and listen to Him. Pray for wisdom as you plan and make decisions. Pray for your volunteers. Pray for the children and the families who will take part. Pray that God's word will be heard and honored, and pray that kids will get to know God personally. Pray that lives will be changed as kids hear the good news about the love and salvation of Jesus. Give your VBS and yourself to Him, and you'll be amazed at what He does with that. And praise Him for the opportunity to be a part of it. I'd like to pray for you guys right now. Dear Lord, we thank you for who you are and for all that you've done for us. For your son Jesus, who loved us so much that he would die for us, rise again, 
Thank you for your spirit that empowers us to do your work today. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to be part of a ministry like Vacation Bible School. Thank you for churches and ministries all over the country, all over the world, who this summer will be sharing your word with kids. We pray that your word would be heard and honored, that kids would respond and to know you more, to know you as their savior and their friend, their creator, their Lord. We pray that you would give us wisdom as we plan and prepare and make decisions. We pray that you would guide all of the volunteers who will take part. We pray for every child and every family that will be touched by the ministry of BBS this summer. Lord, we thank you for all that you're going to do and all that you've already done, how you've touched our lives through the ministry of BBS. We pray that you would continue to let your word and your love shine through in every VBS ministry this summer. And we thank you for all of the kids who will get to know you better. Guide us and help us and help us as we walk through this VBS 101 journey. Guide our thoughts and our actions and just let your love and your truth shine through every moment so that you may be honored. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, if you're still looking for VBS curriculum for this year and haven't chosen your theme yet, feel free to check out some of the programs that I've written that are available for sale. They're low-cost but high-quality, Bible-based, field-tested curriculum programs. I'll put the link down below if you're interested in checking that out. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time as we continue VBS 101.